And that's another interesting streaming bundle. And this one's interesting for a couple of reasons. The first one is the price, and the second one is who's doing it. So this is a bundle from Comcast, and they're calling this the Stream Saver Bundle. And what it does is it allows Comcast customers to get Netflix, Apple TV, and Peacock bundled together for $15 a month. And your first reaction is probably, whoa, $15 a month? That's super cheap for those three services. I pay a million dollars a month for those three services. Uh, okay. <laughs> Not quite, but it can feel like it. Part of the reason for that is you're getting the bare bones versions of these services. So for the Netflix one, it is Netflix Basic. That is the ad supported option that is regularly $7 a month. For Peacock, it's Peacock Premium, which sounds like the really fancy one, but it's not. It's actually the basic version that also includes ads, which is regularly $8 a month. And then Apple TV Plus, there's only one version. They keep it simple over there. And that is $10 a month. So you're still saving a bunch of money. Like you could look at this as paying for Netflix and Peacock and getting Apple TV Plus for free because yep. you're saving $10 a month. Yep. That's a big, big savings. That's a 40% savings. We mentioned this last week as a footnote to our discussion about another bundle of services. And we were debating whether Disney and Max and Hulu together, those were the three, right? Yes. Whether those together would give a decent discount. All right. Your move, Disney. Yeah, no kidding. For $15 to get all three of these, like that's better than the Disney Plus Hulu ESPN Plus bundle. Yep. So, yeah, I, there's no way it's going to be this cheap. It can't possibly be this <laughs> cheap. Be because there aren't super basic versions that would allow them to do that. Like, I think the cheapest max offering is 10 a month. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Even now, nah, is it 10 or is it 15? No, I don't remember. But I think last week I predicted that they would probably take 10 bucks off of the combined price. So we'll see where it ends up coming in. Yeah, I, I think you wanted it under 25 a month and the combined price would have been 37. So it was a little bit more than that, but mm. yeah. Yeah. I, I think it needs to be, yeah, I think it needs to be around a $25 price point. Yeah. But this is a good deal. This it, is a good deal. Even though it's the ad free deal, I, I still think that if you're interested in these and you want to check them out, then <laughs> I don't know how you beat this unless you can't stand the ads. Right. Now, the other interesting aspect of this is who it's being provided by and for whom can, like, who can subscribe to it. This is from Comcast. And so if you're thinking, wait, so it's a streaming bundle on top of my cable subscription? Well, yes, it can be. But if you're just a Comcast broadband customer, if all you've got is internet through Comcast, you can do this also. If you don't have Comcast, tough. You don't have an option here. But what is it, like half the country has Comcast? <laughs> like, it's probably not actually half, but they are the, the number one provider of internet and cable, I believe. Yeah, and lesser known service, they also offer mobile like many of these providers do. And as I understand it, I think this is also available to mobile subscribers. Hmm. That's cool. Their mobile service is cheap too. So, hmm. Some may, maybe it's not so bad to be a Comcast customer anymore. It used to kind of be. Now, maybe not so much. I'm not willing to go that far. Not an option for me. So, I guess it, I, I don't have a, a horse in that race. <laughs> yeah. 